What is good, Greg Gang? Me and Adam's out here. We're actually gonna be doing a little bit of pigeon hunting. Pest control, some would say. Now, the place we're at, we're actually at my church right now, and we have a lot of pigeons. I don't know. I, that's just a common thing. Pigeons like to go places where they're not supposed to be. I don't know what's wrong with them. They just don't have any manners or something. But that's where we come in. We're gonna come in here. We got a little air gun. That way, we're not making a lot of noise. And the plan is to just come in and shoot them you know pretty basic we got the scope cam on that way we'll get good footage now if you want to know a little bit more about the gun it's a 22 caliber air gun and that's honestly about all i know it's got a scope on it decently accurate the heck is this <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to pump it eight times that's how much i usually pump for four five six seven eight load her up right here with one pellet we've actually got to hike around because you know they're not exactly in the easiest spot to hunt so we kind of got to we got it. We really got to do some modern warfare stuff to get these suckers. Okay, guys, here's what we're looking at. Here's my church. I'm actually going to zoom y'all into where the pigeons are. You may be able to see them already, but they're right up there. And uh, it's not going to be easy to get to them, but I think I'm going to go to the corner of this yellow building, and then we might have a. We may be, we may be close enough to take them then. But as you can see, guys, there's some pretty big ones up there, and uh, well, yeah, the air gun's just not capable of taking them from here. It's about 50 yards from here, and that air gun. I don't know, how many yards do you think it's capable of? About 30 at most? 33. 33, okay, we'll lock it. Okay, we're almost to the corner of the building that we were talking about. We got this big random fan thing that's making a lot of... Dang it, dude, they flew away. You're kidding me. Oh, there's one, there's one. I don't know if we can take it. So here's what we're looking at, guys. They, uh, they actually... Okay, okay, so they've actually moved spots. Instead of being right there, now they're actually over here. If you can get behind the pole and just try not to move much where you can video, I'm gonna get right here and take the shot. I missed the place that they're actually going right now is uh, right beside Adam's house. So we're just gonna go. Well, actually, they're coming back. What some dumb birds. Oh, God. They're coming right back. They're coming right back. Okay. We're in position again. I'm gonna, they don't know we're here. I'm just gonna reload and try again. You are wearing camo so they can't see you. Yeah, I know, they couldn't see us. I'm zoomed in on them. Here we go. I hit the feathers. You see the feathers? I don't know. I saw the feathers fly. They may be back. Oh, there's the other group though, so we gotta watch them. How have we not killed them yet? Like I've had two really good shots on them. Okay guys, here's the plan. You see that random house? Well, right over there in the top corner of it, that's actually where the birds just went and landed. And luckily, Adam literally lives like 10 yards from the house. So we're just gonna go park in Adam's driveway and then just sneak out and try to just pop them like that. I don't really know. We're just trying to kill some pigeons, guys. We're just trying to save the environment. What are we thinking, Adam? What are we thinking? I'm thinking we're down two here. I, I, you think we killed two? I think we killed two. I think we, I think we, I think I scaved the feathers off one. I definitely hit that one because I saw the feathers fly. These pigeons are so big, too. Anyways, guys, we're gonna reload up here. And I think, I think we can get us one. I don't think we should have any problem getting us one. We just got to try a lot apparently alrighty boys here we go we're loading up we're in the we're in the truck right now and we just got to make our way over there towards Adam's house and then once we get over there we can take further surveillance and then we'll you know we'll just try to take the best shot possible I mean we're trying we are trying we'll get one for the end day we will turn him into soup alrighty boys here we go we're pulling up on the house that they they're sitting on it's right here and there they are there's a ton of them we're just gonna pull in to a random driveway and then we're just gonna act like we don't know what we're doing See them there? My goodness. They have no idea what we're doing either. They have no idea we're here. I think we can definitely get we'll us one. We just live here. Do I have Wi-Fi here? Here you go. Nope. It's blurry. No, it's blurry. It was blurry. I mean, we got feathers. I definitely hit one or two or three. I don't really know, but we got feathers here. There's feathers everywhere. We just didn't get the meat. Come on now, Kendall. What are we doing here? Not much, apparently. But if you could believe it, they went straight back to the church. So we're just going to head on back over there and shoot them from there. And then once we shoot them there, they'll probably fly back over here and we'll just keep doing that. Right there they are. I don't know how good y'all can see that, but uh, well, yeah, those little dots, those are all the pigeons. I guess we're just going to walk over there because, you know, we're going to spend a lot of gas if we keep doing this. Okay, guys. Here we go, they're in the same exact spot where we started. Am I got to give you some shooting lessons? I don't know what I'm doing. They're definitely coming back. Do you not oh, yeah, see them? Yeah, here they are. 
I don't think the camera can see them yet. There they are. They have no idea what they're doing. They don't know we're here yet. Yeah, they kind of know we're here. They're going right back where they started. Well, we got four pigeons up here. The rest of the group of like 30, they vanished, understandably. We got four right here, and I've got to make the shot count. Come on, kid. You got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Yes, sir. Hang on. I'm going home, dude. I'm done. Okay, guys, we're back at the house now. We've got to make a change, guys. We have to do something with the scoper. Change the scoper, something. This is not going to work, okay? I'll tell you right now, I know I wasn't missing those shots. I know it wasn't me, okay? So right just a second ago, I was tightening down the scopes, and I actually broke. But for this specific gun, it's really weird. It doesn't have any rails, so you have to get these weird rails that you have to buy. And then I just broke one, so I can't use it anymore, and I only have one. Therefore, I only have one mounting point. Therefore, I'm going to have to peek this out. I don't want to show you too much, but it's not released yet. I'm going to have to use a stinking Kendall Gray Optics red dot. I mean, I'm not too excited about this because the, the scopes are not released yet. You can't go buy them right now, even if you want one. Sorry, but they're just not out yet. I just have to use one because it's literally my only option at this point. I mean, if you do want to buy something, you can go buy enough. Kendall Gray cutlery i guess i don't know it's link in the description if you want to buy enough but it's just going to take a little bit of modification and we're actually going to be putting this red dot on this air rifle and it should work perfect now it's time to actually get out the red dot here's the box pretty box and everything pull this out here set down the instructions that thing the battery the tightener thing all the good stuff you know everything you need in a good red dot i don't i don't know if i want to show you this guy like i really don't they're not for sale i don't know i guess so if you guys are watching this video i know y'all are the true gray gangsters anyhow so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all pre-release here it is boys that is a juicy looking red dot sight right here i believe uh i don't know it comes with these flaps so you can flip it up that way dust don't get them in or anything but here we go guys this is the first edition, kind of, the first half of the first drop of Kindle Gray Optics. It's just a simple red dot. Everything you need in a red dot, nothing that you don't. And so here we go, guys. I got it fully set up and everything. It ain't falling off anytime soon. I'm going to go ahead and put my first shot right in there. I believe I'll do a green dot. Why not? It's a red-green dot sight. Why not go green one time? Here we go. Get a good solid rest. All right, let's see where I hit okay okay not too bad not too bad right off the gate i mean it's a whole lot smaller and a whole lot easier to aim than the bigger scope but honestly i don't know i may end up liking the big scope better anyhow i may end up switch back i don't know yet all right now i'm gonna go see where i hit and then i'll make adjustments and so now i made the adjustments and everything right there's little caps let's put one more shot on target and see where we hit now all right, let me go check, and I think we may be good to go. It looks really good. And I tell you what, guys, I went up and looked at the paper. We're good. Like, we're actually good this time. I think we can definitely kill a pigeon. And let me tell you, my dudes, that's exactly what we're about to do. Well, let's go. Okay, guys, it's actually been like a week since we last came out here, but we're back. And before we actually get out there, you already know it, but we put the KG Optic Red Dot on there. Those actually aren't for sale yet, but here is something that is being released today and that you can buy. We have this right here, the first hat in our three hat release. It's standard. It's camo. Got the KGO on the side right there. KG tag on the inside. There. Yeah, definitely got the KG tag. And then, of course, on the back, it has the words Kendall Gray Outdoors. That there's the first hat. That's actually the one I'm going to be wearing. The second hat in the release is the, what color is this? Aqua. I don't know. I don't know either. The really light blue hat. Now, it has black on the back, has some blue. If you're one of those people who like to spice it up with some colors, this here may just be the hat for you. And then on the complete other opposite of the spectrum, the people who don't like much color. They just want to go under the radar. We have just standard gray and black. And then, of course, the gray words on the back. And with the hats, you already know where to get them. But if you don't, kindlegray1.com slash shop or the first link in the description. Pick you up one, guys, and start wearing it. It's spring's about here, and it's hat season. But I'll tell you what, guys. We actually have some We have some pigeons closer than they've ever been before. Here we go, guys. We're about to put the KG Optic to work. Might be its first kill today. We're going to load it up here. Flip up the sights. All right, boys, let's go. Okay, so we're just going to be real with y'all. Um, uh, Me and Abram right here, we not even just me and Abram. Me and Abram, me and Zach, me and Adam, we've been out there trying to kill us a pigeon for two solid weeks. And I don't know why we just, we really can't do it. It's not so much that we can't hit them anymore, it's that we can't find them. Like, they've gotten smart. They've definitely left the area whenever we start pulling up. So instead, we're going to do something a little bit different. Behind me here is the river. It's extremely flooded, and there's water bottles floating down the river. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? So what we're gonna do, if you didn't pick it up, is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let Abram call out targets and I'm gonna try to shoot them with the air gun. Now, don't worry about the background. If it does ricochet, it's just a small pellet and there's not really anything 
behind where I'm shooting. But I also want to say this. If you're going to do this, be really careful and don't just go out shooting at water because shooting at water is very dangerous and I definitely do not recommend it. It's just in this case, we've worked everything out. We're clear. So now if what we can do is let's just go on the bridge. So here we are. The water's coming this way. So Abram's going to call out targets he sees and then once they get over here, I'm just going to go up with the red dot and pop So it. tell me whenever you see one and I'll pop it. Try to. Okay. It's mostly all just like driftwood right now. This red thing? Is it ready? That black thing? Spinning? Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. All right, there's a random black piece. I'll wait till it gets out there a little bit before I shoot. Um, it should be coming out from under any time. There it is. There See it the is. little spinning thing? Tell me when. Right there. It's about as close as you can get, except dead on, right on the corner. Oh, there's a little black circle right there. You see that? Probably some kind of can of something. You got good visual on it? Can of something, yeah. I did it dead. I, could, I broke it. Okay, you see that like Water bottle? bottle? The bottle there. Spinning? Don't try this at home, There guys. it is. Don't try this at home. We're experts. What I tell you, Got it. Hit it right in the top. And that's all the BBs I got from him. I do have this rock. Now just give me a random target. I never was a really good t-ball player. Get there? Yeah, I hit that big piece of wood. Not even close. Eh, it's good for me. That was kind of close. So now that we've got a little practice out here, just a little bit of shooting, I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to change the scope on this gun. Simply because this is an air gun meant for hunting. Most of the time going to be hunting birds and things, and I just don't think that a red dot is going to be the best option. And plus I bought new rails for this air gun right here, and really the only reason I put the red dot on this gun in the first place is because the first one broke. The first rails I had broke. Okay, so we're actually back at the house about to sight in this air gun. It is actually the next day, and it is 20 degrees degrees it is freezing outside but nevertheless guys i got my new scope rings and stuff and i have put a scope on it now let me just show you what kind of scope it is as you may or may not imagine it's a kg optic coming soon but probably actually coming sooner than you think now ha 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 Hence. Here's what we're looking at guys because this air gun is like really weird and I can only mount it up here I had to mount it like this Generally what you want to do is put one of these rings right here and the other ring right here Now I will say this isn't exactly the rings you're going to be getting with the scope These are just the ones that I had and they do fit this air gun a little bit better But I just want to let you guys know if you buy the scope you'll get different rings But they're still going to be 11 millimeters so it's all good But here I go the first time I've actually showed you the KG Optic Rimfire Elite right here Strolling it up this way. KGO up top on this side. Not very much. It is a 3 by 9 scope. Here is the reticle. I'll try to show you that. Yeah, it's just a basic reticle. I mean, there's not a whole lot special about it. It's just your standard little crosshairs. Unfortunately, no mill dots on this version. Instead of having the adjustments to where you have to use a penny, I actually done it like this to where, you know, you can just grab it twist it however you want and you don't have to have a penny in your pocket all the time to adjust your scope but yeah guys i guess in this video you have seen both the red dot kind of up close and the rimfire elite up close and now here comes the secret as much as i said earlier in the video that they are not being released i think i'm gonna release them today but only to you guys because you guys are literally the only ones that know that they're released the people who watch this far in the video i understand like we're probably past the 10 minute mark right now and i know that the people who watch past the 10 minute mark are true gray gangsters and therefore if you'd like to pick up a scope earlier than anybody else hey it's open season also one thing i want to let y'all know about there is actually a kg optic specific shirt it's brand new. I absolutely love it. I have it on right now, but like I said, it's 20 degrees. I'm not about to take this hoodie off. If you want to see what that t-shirt looks like, you're going to have to go to the site and check it out yourself. But without further ado, guys, the KG Optics are finally up on the website, kindlegrade1.com slash shop, or first link in the description. But now, let me go ahead and actually sight this gun in, because it is not sighted in right now, and I ain't going to kill nothing if it ain't. First, I guess what I'll do, pump it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'll load it right here, and we'll go ahead and put our first shot on target. Here we go. I'm just gonna line it up with the target I have set out there, shoot my first shot, and then make adjustments accordingly. Okay, I don't think I hit the box. Also, a little fun fact, I actually had a dream last night that uh, I was trying to shoot this air gun and the pump busted, so yeah, kind of a, it was a pretty relieving dream once I actually realized it was a dream, because I literally thought I lost this air gun. All right, we're actually hitting the very top right of the box. I'll tell you what, guys, this is a this can get a kind of a boring process. I'm going to leave you guys alone. I'm going to end the video right now so that you can actually go over there and check out the KG Optics. Check out the site, too. I've kind of remodeled it here recently. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please go on down. Hit the subscribe button. I'm sorry we didn't kill a pigeon, guys, but sometimes we just don't kill stuff. I mean, that's just reality. Most of the time, I won't kill anything, but that's just how it is, and that's how it's going to always be, actually. But anyways, guys, I'll leave you all alone. Don't forget, smash the like button because it helps 
helps me and you a lot. Okay. If you like and subscribe to this video and turn on post notifications and buy some merch. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Greg Gang.